Hi guys! Welcome back to Crafty Kids. In this video, we'll be seeing how to make a origami bat. So this is a very easy way of making a paper origami bat and it is useful too. So you can just store this bat and play with it. You can also just make it for fun and for, for time pass. You can also use it as a home decor and you can hang it on the walls. You can make many of these like this and you can hang it on the walls for Halloween. This will serve as a beautiful home decor and you can also play with it and you can gift it to your friends, family members or anyone that you like. So before I start, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done yet. Like, share and comment. Also press the bell icon so that you will get a notification whenever I upload a video. So now without any further delay, let's get started and we'll be seeing how to make this beautiful bat. So first for this activity, we want to need simple materials like a paper. So for this activity, first I'm taking a rectangular piece of paper of white color. So you guys can take any color you like. So first step is that we'll be drawing the bat. So for this, I'm taking a pencil. You guys can take a marker as well if you're good at drawing. So the first step is that I'm just going to be drawing a curved line from this side like this. So now I'm just going to be drawing one more small line on top of this line. So the next step is that I'm just going to be making this line come down over here. I'm just going to be making it a little bit longer on this side and I'm drawing the top part one more time like a curved line and I'm just going to be drawing another curved line on this side like this. So the next step is that I'm just going to be drawing one squiggly line, a curved squiggly line like this on the bottom part. Now we have to draw more lines like this in the same way. So for this I'm just going to be making one more line over here and one more time. So I'm repeating the same step on the opposite side, on this side of the paper as well. So after we complete this, we'll have a structure like this. So after we complete this, I'm just going to be drawing one more small line of the bottom, bottom part of the paper. And I'm drawing a curved line like a semicircle of the bottom part. So it should look like a C over here. So after we complete this, I'm just going to be cutting this bat out. So for this, I'm just going to be taking a scissor. You guys can use a scissor because it is more easier. If you guys want, you can also use a blade. But be careful while using a blade or scissor. Because uh, some people might cut their fingers. So if you're less than 5, please have an adult next to you while you use a scissor. Also remember to subscribe to my channel so that you'll get more interesting and cool videos like this. So we have to cut it out slowly and it will take some time so please do it slowly. You guys can fast forward this video if you like. Like about 10 seconds I hope. So now we have finished cutting and we got a bat like structure in this way. So the next step is that uh, almost a bat is almost ready but it is kind of light. So for this I'm just going to be taking a small piece of cardboard. So you guys can use the cardboard that come in Amazon packings and other things as well. But I just take this, uh, took this cardboard from a, a back part of a book. You guys can take cardboard from anywhere. But uh, if you take from a book or something it will be thin and it will be more helpful. So for example this is a very thin cardboard and if you guys can see I can, I'm able to bend this. So the next step is that I'm just going to be taking a glue stick you guys can take a glue bottle as well but if you use a glue bottle uh, sometimes it might be too clumsy and the paper will get dough so I prefer you guys use a glue stick so I'm just going to be applying some glue on the part in which we drew so for example I applied glue on this side so that we can stick it onto the back part so now I'm just going to be sticking this paper onto the cardboard piece like this so we should stick, stick it onto the dark part of the cardboard so that uh, it will blend with it and if you guys see the back part is more uh, whiter than the front one so now i've sticked it and we have to give it some time to dry so you guys can uh, put your fan or you can put an air conditioner so that this can die dry so i'm just pressing on it slowly so after it's dry i'm just going to be taking a scissor one more time so you guys can give it like about five minutes to dry or you can just cut it immediately but if you cut it immediately then uh, uh, it might not be strong enough and it might come off so after it's completely dry you guys can start cutting like i did 
uh, mine's was already dry uh, draw, so uh, I already dried it so I'm cutting it now so I'm reminding you guys one more time please be careful while using a scissor so we have to cut it slowly like this So now I've completed cutting this out and we got a strong back like this. So the next step we're going to be doing is that I'm just going to be coloring this in. So if you guys want, you could have done this in a black paper. But if you do it in black paper, then uh, it won't look as nice as you want. But if you then you can, uh, if you do it in white paper, then you guys can color it in and make your own design. Now I'm just going to be taking a black board marker and color it, coloring it in. So you guys can color it in slowly. You guys can also use your own creativity and design your bat in the way you want. You can also make it in a bigger size and uh, you can just keep it, uh, uh, you can stick it onto your room for a wall decor. You can also stick it onto your shelves or you can make it in a medium size and gift it to your friends. And another idea is you can make it in a really big size and you can use it as an eye mask. Or you can just uh, draw some eyes, legs and hands and make, uh, make it look like a batman. So now I've completed coloring it on one side. So now I'm just going to be turning the paper to the other side and I'm coloring it in. So make sure that you color it really well on the back side because the back side is the most important part because we're going to be sticking the eyes of the bat onto this back part as well. It doesn't matter if you color it in the front part uh, because if you color it in the front part it won't be uh, looking good because we already stuck paper on that side. So I'm coloring this part in as well. So after we complete coloring in the back part, our bat is ready. So I'll show you guys in the camera because it, uh, my bat is building in with my table. So now our bat is ready. So now the next step we're going to be doing is that I'm taking a small rectangular piece of paper. I already cut it out. You guys can use the remaining part as well if you like. So the first step now we're going to be doing is that I'm going to be folding this paper in half and I'm just going to be draw drawing a circle and cutting it out. You guys do not have to draw a circle and uh, I'm going to just be cutting it out. If you guys are not good at drawing circles, you can draw it and cut. You can also use a compass to draw a circle or a small... Uh, you can also stick um, googly eyes to it, but they will look big. If you're going to do a small bat, do not use googly eyes. So now after we cut it out, we got two eyes since we folded it in half. So now I'm just going to be uh, applying some glue on this eye, these eyes over here. So after we apply some glue, I'm just going to be sticking these eyes onto the bat. So I'm just going to be sticking the first one over here. So I cut them out a little bigger so that it will be more beautiful. You guys can cut it out in a small size if you like. So it's your wish. I'm just going to be sticking it. So if you guys want, you can also use a glue stick as I said or you can also use tape. So after we complete this, our paper bat is ready. So you guys can uh, make a mouth as well. But if you make a mouth and a smiley face, it will look uh, more uh, beautiful and look like a friendly bat. Uh, so I just made it like this so that it will be um, more scary and creepy. So I'm just going to be folding the wings on this side as well. So after we complete this, our paper bat is ready. So as I said, you guys can use your own creativity and design your bat. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time on Crafty Kids. So before I conclude, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done yet. Like, share and comment. Also press the bell icon so that you'll get a notification whenever I upload a video. Subscribe to my channel so that you'll get more interesting and useful videos like this. So bye for now and I'll see you guys next time on Crafty Kids. Bye!